announcement of the appointment of the Most Reverend Bishop Dennis Villarojo as Bishop of Malolos. Oh! This, this morning, during the Baruncio, Padilla was telling me, I don't know if I have to say condolence or congratulations, <laughs> because his point is, no, when Bishop is appointed Bishop of Malolos, of course, he will be leaving Cebu, and that's what he means by condolence. No? But uh, we, know, we know what it means in another perspective. You know? Malolos has been longing for a bishop, and uh, the choice of Bishop Dennis as we know it now, is certainly uh, a discernment that the Nunshu has made. From a certain perspective, you know, we thought, uh, I was saying, it's easy for them to get our bishops now, but it's not so easy to give us now. So we wait for the new ones. Well, no, no one is being promised yet. No. But the fact is, Bishop Oscar and Bishop Dennis no, at this time are now considered no, detached. <laughs> No, in, in that sense, no, because Bishop Dennis no, would, would serve Malolos. Uh, probably he will see a few words, no, but we know for a fact that Malolos is one of the biggest dioceses. One of the biggest dioceses. Wow. <laughs> Tagalog, Tagalog. <laughs> Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Lubos ako nagpapasalamat. <laughs> Ito. Uh, last May, May 5, when I was coming from Budlot, I received a call from Monsignor Arnal, Arnaldo Catalan. No? And he told me about it. And I, 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 I told him, are you sure? Because, you know, he's my classmate in in theology, so I thought he was just uh, joking, and he said, "Yes, yes, uh, this is what I do. You have to believe me." <laughs> and so, so, so that's it. So, again, um, thank you to all of you, especially to our dear Archbishop for all the support. And of course, uh, I already made my valedictory last, the graduation of the. College Seminary, where I dwelt on the theme of the pain of parting. No? Wow. So, 